a respected physician and her educational consultant husband have been discovered dead in the woods in an apparent targeted double homicide, police in Wisconsin have said. The bodies of Dr. Beth Potter, 52 and her husband, Robin Carre, 57, were found in a ditch by a jogger Tuesday around 6.30 a.m. in the UW Arboretum, a research and popular recreational area that includes more than 1,200 acres of forests and prairies. Carre was pronounced dead at the scene and Potter died later in hospital, University of Wisconsin-Madison Police Department, UWPD, spokesman Mark Lavicott said. It's the department's first homicide case since 1982 and the first double homicide in recent history. Potter and Kare died from homicidal-related trauma, according to the Dane County Medical Examiner's Office. Authorities have not disclosed the manner of their deaths, but UW police said the slayings were not by chance. Through our police investigation, we reached a point where we were confident in that this was not random and this couple was targeted, police department spokesman Mark Lavicott wrote in an email Thursday. Beyond that, I can't provide any further details as this is a very active police investigation. Potter worked at the Wingra Family Medical Center, run by the UW Madison Department of Family Medicine and Community Health and Access Community Health Centers. She was medical director of UW Health's Employee Health Services and spoke French and Spanish, which brought clarity and comfort to the diverse patient population she served, according to a tribute on the medical school's website. In addition to being a wonderful family physician and highly respected teacher, Beth was a dedicated clinical leader, William Schwab, M.D., the interim chair of Potter's department, said in a statement. She was wise, warm, and always supportive. There are so many patients, students and colleagues whose lives have been touched by Beth. Her loss weighs heavily on members of our department. Kare was an independent educational consultant, according to his website, and offered consulting services to students and their families for the college search and application process. He was also a former coaching director at Regent Soccer Club, a youth soccer organization in Madison. It's still unnerving that we have an individual or individuals responsible for this, but we hope people are at ease a little bit in knowing this is not something random, that these individuals were picked out after walking in that area, Lavicott said. This is unprecedented for folks currently at the department, but this is the stuff we train for. UWPD officers and investigators have canvassed the neighborhood, followed up on leads, and spoken to individuals who may have information about the homicides. Police told Channel 3000 they were trying to carry out the investigation while maintaining social distancing measures due to the coronavirus pandemic. Anyone with information on the killings can contact Madison Area Crime Stoppers at 608-266-6014. Tips can be submitted at p3tips.com.